So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the second tabernacle services where we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Itzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yerushiahu the prophet. Then we find a layer of understanding of the 61st, this first section related with the spring feast. Then the mentioning of the autumn feast and the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid waste for many centuries. So then during this time where we find then governments of the world going through a transition, let's then make sure we understand what the Messiah has gone through in order for the world at least of having some sort of root. So then the world would not be lost in terms of the events of the future. Obviously the Messiah is returning and he is obviously the person of the Holy of Holies but he yet he does not have his place yet but it is coming. Let's make sure we understand what he has done so then when we receive then spacing for activity make sure we use it for the proper objective and not only for our own lusts. So then obviously during this time where we find in the financial system in a very profound crisis we should ask ourselves why then the world is going through so much of this transition what is the objective what is the end of the line or what is then the proper path where can we then understand where can we find is there a path or is it perhaps what takes place in the future? How can we discover it? So then, understandably, the Messiah, when he completed the spring feast, there is then four records of this completion. A couple of them from the set apart or the Hebraic people, and a couple of them Gentiles. So then, let's make sure we understand set apart or Gentile, what the Messiah has done and gone through so we can understand the time of the end. We are in a great big danger this time regarding the economy of this country. There is not much time left and the economy is not recuperating as we thought. So let's understand as far as the economics because we can be a mixture of Democrats and Republicans and people with many kinds of social lifestyles, some of them conservative, some of them not conservative, and then fighting against each other. But then truly is a time for us then of pondering and understand when there is a schedule already set for a specific time, then the country must work and then get the nation lined up with the schedule. During the time of the thousand years of the seat was then perhaps. Perhaps this, that, and the other, and whosoever would come with an idea could implement it, and then would work or not. But then after 2009, a very interesting factor then has come, as far as what Daniel said. An increase of knowledge, and then prior of this increasing of knowledge, people would go to and fro. To and fro means a thousand years of the seat where no holy cities were ever found. But then we've entered a time where then the schedule is back in place and if we don't take action, because Hebrew words, Hebrew instructions, they're always involving actions. So then let's understand what action must be taken. So then we can upgrade ourselves and understand the importance of taxation via freighting. And why should we then give so much focus? Because there is a system coming where very evident is already found in Asian countries, not yet implemented, but widely known. So let's understand then what danger are we facing. In a very specific understanding, let's then Observe what Daniel said, increase of knowledge, 
related with a tradesperson. He was not speaking of tabernacle. He was speaking of trade, secular trade. Daniel already gave the answer roughly 500 years prior of the birth of the Messiah. The Messiah was born in 4999, you can imagine, 500 years later. We find ourselves then understanding that after then these 500, we landed then in 4999, and then from this birth of the Messiah in 500 years earlier, then we understand what Daniel was thinking. He knew then the Messiah would come, and then 500 years later, then the Messiah came. So from the viewpoint of Daniel, we find then, during this time where our government is not knowledgeable, because of our past history. The only situation is, previously, prior to 2009, the nations were given the privilege of doing whatever they wanted. Nations are no longer privileged with this anymore. So what is then coming in the future? Daniel said, would have then people going to and fro for a time, then the set apart mixed up with the world for a time. Nations would try to adhere to each other, but they would not. Then an increase of knowledge, and then the time of the restoration period, and then autumn feast. So then, during these days, what people, they get every ounce of liberty, and most of them they only use for what is lustful, without understanding the danger of the new system. Not only this, but then previously our government has built a place over there in the Ozarks where they thought they were so religiously inclined of building a place over there on the mountain with 12 cities underground, 12 gates. It had some sort of a relation of a holy city. So then we build the place for no reason. Let's understand then, very exacting, as far as, as the new system and what it takes and what it does. Daniel already gave the answer, the Mishia already gave the answer, and then we must join what they have discovered. They were enlightened from heaven, explaining the time of the end. Daniel said, for a time people would go to and fro, the set-apart would be mixed up with the world for a time. The nation was, would try to come together and adhere to each other, they would not. The knowledge would increase. From a tradesperson, there is only an understanding only. You must combine high knowledge with trade. How do you combine high knowledge with trade? Computer. But then the situation is, no longer the thousand years of the seat, people would use anymore the midman. Direct trade, as it was during the time of Yishmael. So then we prepare ourselves from the layer, from the time of Yirshiahu, and from the time of Daniel, and from the time of Ezekiel. Then we lined up those layers related with the time of the restoration period. Then we must relate also with Galawa, Revelation 20th chapter. So each of those, they have a specific layer of the same topic. You know what this means? From distinct times in history, gives you the absolutely certainty. These individuals, they were enlightened by heaven. Because Yerushiahu was then roughly more than 500 years before, then we find Daniel around 500 years. You find Ezekiel roughly the same time. Then you find the Messiah speaking of the future, then 500 years later. Then you find in Revelation, you find in Ezekiel, you find it in Daniel. 
So then, what was Daniel speaking? He was speaking of a system. And the system is then non-related with banking, as we know of. It's a direct system that does not use government schemes of control. The control is in the hands of the Creator. And He will to give to the sons of Yishmael. At some point, it is returning to them. Where do we find this layer? The 61st chapter speaks of tabernacle. The 62nd speaks of the Ishmaelites. Turban, golden, speaks of a royalty. Those are the sons of Ishmael. And because they have the most crude, and freighting is always related with crude, then you understand where the control comes from. It does not mean slavery. It means then the main nations of this time of restoration. For instance, the Kingdom of the North, Soviet Union, Kingdom of the East, China, and Kingdom of the South, Africa. Those are the main players. At some point, because of them, then decisions must be made where then the Ishmaelites must be included. Because they have crude. So these factors, this point were given. If you study the holy instructions without having any section of it of your own. You can make up stories with it. You have to read the facts, understand the tabernacle, most importantly. And then you understand the movements of those events per layers, times and seasons. You have a layer from 500 years before the Messiah. You have a layer beyond 500 years before the Messiah. Then you find Messiah speaking 500 years later. Then you find after a thousand years. Then a couple thousand years later. He's given us the certainty of His words. So then, absolutely a system that does not use cash of its own, but you can transfer it to get cash from. So then we are speaking of a main system from China, and then the other countries becomes then subsystems. If you are familiar with the Bitcoin system, you may understand. There is no link with any bank, no link with any government. Yes, there is a great value. Gold standards. And you find a lots of stores where you can buy from the system. However, it is only a portion of it. This system was generated in 09. Isn't that interesting? And the thousand years of deceit instantly entered this system of not relation with any banks. Precisely this economical system of finances is then the system of the end. There is another factor that must be included. Thus far we understand high knowledge and finances. Then comes high knowledge and trade, investments. It's the second section that people are so concerned with the Bitcoin system, as far as what can back it up. Investments. The Chinese very wisely, they are placing the investments of their products available for investment. It's extremely wise. Because when you download the Chinese system in your computer, you then download investments. There is an icon there, invest. You select a product where you have to project what countries may purchase this product. Third world countries, what would be the basics? Electric wires, piping, you find in cement, you find in windows, you find the items related with construction. You select then as many as you want and you invest a portion of it, every bit of your money, 
or you decide to select then 900,000 other items where you invest a bit of it. The choice is yours. The situation is governments around the world, they can't track it. Only you can track it. You know what's in your system. Governments, they can't nose around in it. And they can't tax it. They may tax it only when you make a transfer. When you want to get your cash for what you have in the system. It's a virtual system. Virtual money. Virtual investment. But you can get your cash for it. Not only this, you can pay your meals with the system. As you understand, the Bitcoin system, you have your telephone. There is a special figurine that you then download in your telephone. Acts as a credit card, but it doesn't have any credit with link with a bank. The direct system with the BTC, Bitcoin system. But then furthering, when you then include investments of products with it, then becomes solid. You have then the foundation of the factoring behind what you are investing. That's why then China has already secured lots of mining. If you are then obviously watching the news, you can understand some 10 days ago, they secured from the Asian countries seven deals of mining. The largest company in China, CMC, went to Africa. Infrastructure, mining. So they are backing up their system, raw materials. This gives you then the high knowledge of computer and finances combined where then you then download when the time comes. That's the trade of the end. This obviously generates a whole lot more packages. That's when you understand what the Messiah was speaking in the future. He saw then the freighters of the earth from tabernacling after studying some time, you realize the Messiah, when he speaks from tabernacling, it is authority. The Messiah said the authority was given to him in heaven and the earth, go therefore around the world and form holy cities. Every time the Messiah speaks from the Holy of Holies, it is always authority. And he saw the freighters in authority. So then if you study the many layers of the instructions, you find each of them event after event, layer after layer after layer after layer. But if we take it lightly during these next 36 months, 35, around 30 months already, then when the system comes, we'll be late. We won't be able to do anything with it. But then the government senses they are so high and mighty and they don't want to take any action. How are they going to charge taxes? What would they know what packages are coming? How do they know what's in the packages? It's a legal system. When you purchase your bitcoins and you make a purchase with it, the freighter is responsible of delivering your package at your home. It is a valid purchase. If you are paying taxes while then you are making your purchase, nobody knows. It depends upon the merchant on the other side. But be sure of it, there is no link with the government, no link with banking. How is the government then going to charge taxes? So this is what then the Chinese is holding back for so long. When the system comes as a virtual market, if the country or the nation is not then tracking properly, they are going to be out. And that's maybe why they understand why they built these Ozarks. Because they understand the financial system is going to ruin. But there is a problem. The freighters are in charge. So then the whole concept of these Ozarks situation where then our money was smuggled 
via the Overwatch system. It is a company related with security in space. That's where the money had then flow through. But the Ozarks won't be used. The money was thrown in the garbage because the freighters are in charge. After 09, the freighters are in charge. After 09, the end of it is the Ishmaelites are in charge. There is a time of restoration. But then our country, rather than understanding this very important fact, in visiting with the freighters of our country, have the freighters landed their tracking system for taxation purposes? Every time it is a label printed, then the content of each of the boxes, parcels, must show then description, price, and taxation so the government has a way of tracking it. The only link with the new system is the tracking of the freighters. There is no other way of control. And the Mishia gave the answer, and the freighters of the earth. He did not say kingdom of the north, kingdom of the east, kingdom of the south. He said the freighters of the earth. He saw the authority was coming from the freighters. He was not speaking only of having those merchants or merchandise coming from those freighters because of the sin of the world. Try to understand, the Messiah has no link with sin. What he had to do to take care of sin, he did. When he speaks from the Holy of Holies, after he became then the atonement, he has no relation with sin anymore. Because he has taken care of it. The spring feast is then done away with. And the completion of it leads to the autumn feast. Since he has no link with sin as a person. But his holy damn in the past did what he did. So he speaks purely of trade. He saw the authority in the earth, Gentile level, freighters. They were in charge. And governments taking orders from those freighters. So then this Ozark situation was built with a huge amount of money. People blasting underground and making 12 seeds underground and 12 gates and the whole nine yards because they were thought of having some sort of a holy city ended up being a joke. The whole scripture they used was scandalized, was modified, was made up by Constantine. And then we find ourselves understanding the original manuscripts. And then we understand what the situation is bringing us. So let's make sure when we get a space for action, let's make sure we first do what is proper. Make sure we do our homework. Make sure we study. Make sure we have a plan. Because the government is absolutely blind of what's coming. They have an objective of holding as much as they can, and if the worst comes to worst, they go into the Ozarks. How can they go to the Ozarks if the leadership was given to the freighters? That's when the government falters. If the authority was then given to the government permanently, until the time of the end, understandably. But they were not given. Only until 09. Then the authority of governments expired. We are back on schedule. 
That's why the world is going through so many changes. You find the Europe, Eurozone is breaking. That monument over there they built, you know, the halfway building over there symbolizing what Nimrod has done in the past is a joke. It's a form of a Babylonian system. And we understand it won't work. The Eurozone must be dismantled and none of the system as we know of is going to be used. It is a virtual computerized system. Only traceable via labeling or then transfer of funding. So why are we risking ourselves for so long and not understanding government must visit with the freighters of our country and let them land their tracking system for taxation purposes. Let me ask you this, what the government is doing thus far regarding bitcoins? They don't have a clue. What the government does know is the system works and they have no control over it. They have no idea what these people are purchasing. They could put a gun in a box and ship it to your house. If it does not go through the x-ray, it goes through. And the government has no way of tracking it. Other than making a reference, they have to go in person over there and ask the freighter, what is the tracking number of this package? Our government is absolutely vulnerable. They have no way of any control. They are part of a system failed. They failed. As you can observe from then an island, the big Titanic going down the water. This is what the government is. They are trying desperate to get themselves organized where then the machine already gave the answer. And the freighters of the earth. When you understand what does it mean freighting? Has to have a label. Has to have a description. You can include the price and taxation. Then when the new system comes, the virtual monetary system, they can catch any person purchasing. That's where they get their taxes from. So let's say during these last 30 months or 32 months, let's say the government does not do its job. Let me ask you this, when the freighters then take over, how is the government going to maintain the services of the country? How are they going to serve the people with then Many aircrafts coming with parcels, many ships coming with parcels. Where are they going to place the packages? It is already increasing the number of packages tremendously as it is, while then the retailers are complaining. Online purchases. And the government is barely, barely tackling the problem. Some of these politicians, they only want to make up their time and then get out of there. And they get lifetime high pay. If our monetary system then fails, how are they going to get paid? Because they never imagined they were reading from the wrong scripture. The Creator has not given permanent authority until the time of the end. Governmental authority is over with. The freighters, they have the authority. It then changes a bit the scenario. Now we have a government not tracking. They're not maintaining a record. They don't understand the Bitcoin system. They can't control it. Yet precisely this form of a system is then in the very near future. 
and combined with investments. So you can make purchases, you can invest, you can send money, and your product is delivered to your home. However, if our ports are not upgraded, if the airports don't have enough lanes, how are the aircraft are going to land and deliver your package? So let's make sure we understand it. Don't play around with the Asians because they are coming very quietly. But they know the system. They know it's coming. That's why they are so reserved, so quiet, because they want the U.S. system out of the planet. Understandably, however, if we are wise, if we track those packages, if we understand taxation, freighting, combined, then we can maintain this subsystem of ours as any other country. Daniel the prophet described some nations would become strong, some nations would be then weak. Daniel also was mentioning of the individuality of each country. The whole world is not going to become a big China. Only the system is provided for jobs and also for investments and circulation of money properly, evenly. If you work, you are in the system, you receive. If you don't work, you are not in the system, you don't receive. So since the government has hidden from behind this Ozarks project, not very many people know it. FEMA camps and fusion centers and our nation divided in 10 sectors. But people go on with their pleasures and so on and so forth until the time comes and it breaks. And if you watch the internet, the government is not tackling internet sales and internet purchases properly. This is not only in our country, this is worldwide. Not only this, but Ford Motor Company is closing its factory in Australia. So we are observing our industry retrieving So then this advancement coming so strongly, it's because there is a system set up, not because they have control. You can't have control if you don't want to have a system. You have to have a system. So why are it taking so long for our government to realize China has so much of it? Because they have a system where you combine investment, computer, and a virtual form of money, not linked with any bank. Because each of those, they made a very bad job during the time of a thousand years, where they could do whatever they wanted, it didn't work. So understand me, People like pleasure and so on and so forth, you know, nobody's preventing. But only make sure we understand the danger that we are in. And then, from the Hebrew perspective, hurting other people is not going to improve our country. 
the system already proven it is defective jobs are not being generated and the country is further down in debt the Ozarks was a scam it was done behind people's backs there is CIA involved with it and people with very important authority however they are doing as scoundrels they don't understand they don't have the authority anymore how are they going to go over there in the Ozarks what are they going to do from there they are no longer in charge the freighters are in charge what gives the authority of this government is our bad respect for it because if we understand what the Messiah has said and the freighters of the earth are then in charge because he is speaking from the Holy of Holies from Tabernacle then we understand our government has no authority they are part of a broken failing system and if they don't learn how to tax it properly then the government goes bankrupt and the freighters want their packages delivered and those packages will to be delivered even if it takes a tank from the army to get then a wagon with packages and they must deliver it because the government has failed the government is a failure now we must shift our understanding from government and then freighters freighters are in charge every time you read an article of FedEx, UPS or any other freighting company those people are in charge have the highest respect for those freighters and government is secondary they have proven themselves unworthy but it's not only our country it is worldwide not promoting anarchy either only given the proper perspective as the Messiah saw from the Holy of Holies he saw the freighters in charge so what can we expect from our government from the top Mr. President speaking with the freighters of our country and using their labeling system their tracking system for tax purposes we must believe what the Messiah has said and adjust ourselves as per such or it is chaos that's why the government has built the Ozarks the problem is they won't be there let me ask you this this is a scheme of a plan of our government joining up with Japan Japan is going through a tough time also there are articles out there explaining they have second thoughts of these printing out more money Australia is going then not having Ford anymore thousands upon thousands of jobs lost 
Let me ask you this, are they going to order 100 aircraft and 12 submarines? Can we maintain then the hold in the South Pacific? No, we can't. Our system has failed. We are placing our trust in long, long and very long in wrong areas. Our, in quote, hope is then the freighters. What those freighters want should be done. They are then the examples of the market. 